In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami toy called Vertigo, designed by Francesco Mancini. I recommend you use quite strong, stiff paper, for example elephant hide, like I did here. You can also try using light cardstock. You'll need 12 rectangles with a ratio of 1 by square root of 2, for example 7.4 cm by 10.5 cm, which is a 7, or 3 inches by 4 and a quarter of an inch. The resulting model then has a diameter, that's about this distance, of 7.5 cm or 3 inches in the collapsed state. Now, to save some time, I'm actually going to show you how to fold the first steps on four modules simultaneously. So I'm going to start with a sheet that is twice as long and twice as wide, and after that, cut. So let's get started. We're going to start with the color side up and the reverse of the paper will not show and I'm only using paper that is white on one side so that you can more easily see the steps. Now we're going to fold in half, edge to edge, and make a strong crease. Unfold, rotate, and again fold in half. Unfold, now bring the edge to the central crease line. And you might even want to reverse this crease so that it's easier to see where that crease is. Same on the other side. Now with the white side up, we're going to fold the raw edge to the central crease line. And again, I'm going to fold this so that it's easier to see where we need to align the paper. Unfold, flip over and repeat. Then bring the raw edge to the crease line you just created. Flip over and repeat. We also want to have this distance. For that I'm going to take this edge and align it with this crease line. And of course repeat on the other side. Unfold everything and now make a diagonal crease between these two points and you can use the intersections to ensure that you get a nice precise crease. I like to pinch the center and then get that corner nice and accurate and then move over to the other corner and then crease throughout. Make a strong crease. This one is a very important crease. Unfold and repeat in the other direction. Unfold and now also add the diagonal right here. For this you can again bring this fold in so that it's easier to get a nice precise result. Repeat on the other corners. Once we have this, we're now going to cut into quarters. The steps I'll show next, you'll of course have to repeat on all of the modules. First, we're going to take this lower right corner and bring it to the center so that you create a crease that ends right where this horizontal crease line meets that raw edge. Rotate and repeat. Now we want to open up this area so that we go along this crease line right here and push in that paper and flatten this down, ensuring that the two edges here meet and pushing this down and then pushing it to the side to add a new crease. Then rotate and repeat on this side. Open up, 
perhaps letting this open a little, push in the paper while leaving this section down so that it's covered, and then push in and again here ensure that the two layers meet up to then flatten down like that. And then you have something like this. Now you have mountain folds right here and we're going to go along them. First we're going to use the ones that connect two corners and make a strong crease using the section of your thumbnail. This is a very important crease. And then go in the other direction and I recommend you do it in this order because now we have a step where we align this short edge with that edge right there to add another crease line. And if you first do the mountain fold connecting the points and then the other one, then you'll always get this angle right. And then unfold and repeat on this one. Right there. And now you have the basic module done except for one more crease which we'll add later on. And you need to fold 12 in total. So let me just very quickly go through this again. And that's the next module done. Now, once all your 12 modules are done, we're going to add one more crease to each of these tabs. For this, insert this tab into this pocket right here. So rotate it so that you can see this kite shape and this kite shape right here. And then insert that tab into that pocket so that this mountain fold aligns with the edge and then fold along this mountain fold right here and then make a strong crease and repeat on all of the tabs. Once all of these are done we're going to assemble the model and we're always going to combine three different colors into one point so that we get four points and then combine them. The first two we're all going to assemble with the same coloring scheme. So here I'm going to insert the blue into the red and then the red into the white and the white into the blue. Just try to open that pocket and slip it inside and then align and you will see that you have to make this 3D so that you can completely align them and you'll get this kind of corner of almost a cube but the angles are slightly different. And then we're going to push this so that we have these mountain folds again So that we have a plane right here and here and there too. So you don't want this going inside but you want it to be quite flush like that. We're going to use that same coloring scheme for a second corner. Blue into red and red into white. and white into blue. So once you've completed two corners with the blue inserted into the red, we're then going to take the blue and insert it into a white one. And then the white into the red one. And the red into the blue, of course. So this corner looks slightly different. Let's do one more of these. Like this. Now we're going to take two with a different coloring scheme and we're going to put them together like this. 
also we're going to insert right here and now you can see that you um, need another white one here so if we choose this one then we will get again blue opposite of white so let's go with that and then as before get those triangle planes by pinching this mountain fold a little but not too much and then we can combine these two modules and add the last corner then insert the other tabs into the pockets to connect the remaining corners once all of them are connected ensure that these folds right here are nice and strong mountain folds by pinching along them if you use heavier paper this is much easier, but just for demonstration purposes, I used quite light paper because that was the only paper I had that was white on one side. So once you have that, your model is almost done and now we can start playing with it. For this, I'm going to take these two sides right here and these two sides right here and push out. Can you see that? push out and then the model will come together. Now when you use light paper sometimes this paper will kind of go in the wrong direction but if you use heavy paper that shouldn't happen. And when you have that then you're going to put your thumb here and your index finger on the other side and same here and then push out like that and just continue pushing until it flips over and again you can see here with light paper it can happen that this flips over but let's try and see whether we can get this to work if we make the action a bit faster so again push to get it nicely into shape like this, okay. Now turn over and push and push. If you do it slowly, it will tend to kind of flip like this a bit more, but if you do it quite smoothly, it works really nicely. And of course, when you have heavier paper, this does not really happen. Even when you do it, quite slowly. Can you see that? So that's why I recommend you use heavier paper and not thin flimsy paper like I used here. Now if you like Francesco Mancini's work do check out his Flickr stream for many gorgeous photos and his YouTube channel too. Plus you can purchase diagrams for this model from Origami USA's online shop The Source. And if you liked this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below and sharing it with others. And I've got another tutorial on Francesco's model Stella Pitti, which I encourage you to try out. Or check out my playlist of other action origami models for many fun folds. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos. I hope to see you around and as always, happy folding!